Hey everyone, my name is Willie and I'm a real estate agent and here are the five reasons why I and lots of other Bay Area people have decided to move to Merced. Merced is located in California's Central Valley or about two hours south of San Francisco or one hour north of Fresno. And it's one of the fastest growing cities in California, growing at about 3% a year. And in just a few years, we're gonna hit 100,000 people. Merced is close enough to take a quick trip to San Francisco where you can see friends or an occasional trip to the office. Merced has all the major retailers like Costco, Lowe's, Target, Walmart, and even the Best Buy later this year. There's also a pretty nice downtown area with lots of mom and pop shops, including Hispanic and Asian grocery stores, and one of my favorite coffee shops called ASIP. Another fun fact, Merced is known as a gateway to Yosemite. It takes about one and a half hours to drive to Yosemite, which is about half the time if you drove from San Francisco. You can also go hiking, fishing, or do all kinds of outdoor activities there. I've done this trip several times a year and the scenery while you drive there is just amazing. In San Francisco, a lot of renters can pay up to $3,000 a month for a small one bedroom apartment. And it's hard to come up with a down payment for a place anywhere in the Bay Area. So they're stuck renting. Compared to San Francisco, where a condo can sell for over $1 million, in Merced, the medium home price for a four bedroom single family home is between $300,000 and $350,000. For a $350,000 house, you're looking at around $1,800 for a monthly mortgage payment, assuming 5% down and 3% interest. And yes, this even includes property tax and home insurance. And if you do 20% down, then you're looking at around $1,500 a month. Compare this to a million dollar place in the Bay Area, where you'll pay $4,700 with 5% down, or $3,700 with 20% down. Now that a lot of Bay Area people can work from home, these kind of numbers make a lot of sense to them. Instead of throwing $3,000 at a small apartment, they can now live in a much bigger place with their own home office, while also building equity. The third reason is schools. You might have heard of UC Merced, which is the newest University of California campus, which started in 2005. The university plans to grow really fast in the next few years. In just the past four years, they doubled in student population, and within the next decade, they plan to have 15,000 undergrads enrolled which is very good considering it's a brand new school. The school is also one of the largest employers here, supporting thousands of jobs. Because of the size and diversity of the student and staff populations, there is a good variety of restaurants like Mexican, Thai, Indian, and Chinese restaurants. And of course, a few boba tea shops, which are very popular with the students. Reason number four is infrastructure. There's a lot of infrastructure projects going on in the area. Uh, for example, there's the uh, Atwater Merced Expressway, which provides freeway speed access to the north side of the city, which is where all the new housing and commercial developments are. All this puts Merced in a good position to support a lot of industries and jobs, like in commercial space systems, uh, industrial machinery, uh, chemicals, and distribution. Right now, just one city over, uh, there's a self-driving test facility called the Autotech Testing and Development Center. Uh, companies like Waymo, which is part of Google, use it to test their cars there. And the last reason is high-speed rail. Uh, one of the most exciting things about Merced is the fact that it's going to have its own high-speed rail station here. This means that Merced is going to be very centrally located between San Francisco, uh, LA, Sacramento, and even San Diego. So that's all I have for now, and I hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about Merced and why I chose to move here. I do plan on making a few more videos about real estate in Merced, so let me know what you guys think and what you want to see in the future. Thanks, bye.